Embark on a captivating journey through the awe-inspiring world of the greatest ships ever made on Earth. From colossal cruise liners to monumental cargo carriers, each vessel stands as a testament to human engineering and maritime innovation, pushing the boundaries of size, capacity, and capability. These maritime giants are reshaping the very essence of sea transport and exploration. Join us as we delve into the top 20 colossal ships, get ready to be truly amazed. Number 20, Symphony of the Seas. Introducing the Symphony of the Seas, an inspiring addition to Royal Caribbean's fleet, now holding the prestigious title of the largest passenger ship ever crafted. At an astonishing length of 1,188 feet, this maritime marvel stands as a testament to human ingenuity. To put things into perspective, it's five times larger than the iconic Titanic, a staggering achievement in cruise ship engineering. However, some might find it slightly ironic that the memory of the ill-fated Titanic is evoked on board the Symphony of the Seas, given its colossal size. Sensitivity aside, let's delve into the impressive features of this behemoth. Measuring nearly 9,000 passengers in capacity, this ship is nothing short of a floating city. With an astounding 23 pools, it's clear that accommodating such a multitude requires ample aquatic options. But the aquatic amenities are just the beginning. There are also 40 restaurants on board, a number that rivals the dining options in some small towns. Entertainment knows no bounds here. The Symphony of the Seas offers an exhilarating array of activities, from water slides and jacuzzis to two full-size theaters. Adventure seekers can scale two climbing walls or try their luck at the ice rink. Many golf enthusiasts can hone their skills, and the casino beckons those who fancy a bit of gaming. Fitness enthusiasts can hit the gym, and thrill-seekers can partake in laser tag or zip lining. But that's not all. The ship even boasts a massive slide and an abundance of shopping opportunities. And if you thought that was the extent of its extravagance, think again. A fairground carousel takes the idea of onboard entertainment to a whole new level. To put it simply, the Symphony of the Seas redefines the concept of cruising, offering an unforgettable experience on an epic scale. Number 19. Queen Mary II The Queen Mary II, a luxurious vessel in the world of ocean liners, proudly holds the title of the largest ever constructed. She stands as one of the dwindling aristocrats of the sea, embodying a classic elegance that contrasts with the trend of modern cruising. Where colossal floating metropolises, with non-stop entertainment and round-the-clock revelry, reign supreme. While the Queen Mary II may have a more modest passenger capacity, accommodating just 2,695 travelers, along with 1,253 officers and crew, don't be deceived into thinking she's small. Quite the opposite, in fact. She exudes a commanding presence, radiating an air of refined sophistication that pays homage to the golden age of ocean travel, all while seamlessly providing the contemporary comforts one would expect from a five-star hotel experience. In 2004, the Queen Mary II embarked on her maiden voyage, marking a significant milestone as the first major ocean liner to be constructed since the iconic Queen Elizabeth II set sail way back in 1969. As the principal transatlantic liner, she plies the historic route between Southampton, UK and New York, upholding a tradition that harks back to the bygone era of luxurious ocean crossings. Number 18. Freedom of the Seas Meet another of Royal Caribbean's colossal cruise ships, a product of their early 2000 extravagance. Back in 2006, when this magnificent vessel first set sail, it proudly claimed the title of the largest passenger ship on the seven seas. However, in the world of cruise liners, competition for the crown of biggest and best is relentless, with ever larger ships poised to steal the limelight. In no time, this ship was overshadowed by her sister vessels, and Royal Caribbean continued to unveil even more monstrous marvels. The Freedom of the Seas is a massive oceanic giant measuring over 1,100 feet long and 183 feet wide, cruising at a speedy 21.6 knots. With room for a whopping 5,730 passengers, equivalent to a small town, 
It was a marvel of modern cruise engineering during its prime. The ship boasted an array of amenities, including a bustling promenade, numerous shops, diverse dining options, a library, bars, a grand theater, clubs, and even an ice rink. For the active traveler, there was a dedicated sports deck with mini golf, basketball, volleyball, and a challenging climbing wall. Plus, fitness enthusiasts could enjoy the ship's fully equipped gym. However, in the world of Royal Caribbean, evolution is the name of the game. They consistently outdo themselves with innovative additions and extravagant design features, rendering their previously luxurious ships somewhat outdated and under-equipped compared to their latest oceanic offerings. Number 17, T-Class Supertankers, the Fantastic Four. Meet the ultra-large crude carriers, ULCCs, often causing a stir in the marine oil cargo industry. These impressive vessels are affectionately dubbed the Fantastic Four by a niche group of tanker enthusiasts and marine industry buffs, injecting a bit of maritime merriment into their serious work. What makes these giants stand out is their dual-hulled configuration, championed for its potential to significantly improve the safety of crude oil transport and minimize environmental risks in the event of accidents. Sailing at a brisk 16.5 knots, these vessels sport a unique feature, a hull designed to reflect sunlight, which serves both practical and environmental purposes. Additionally, they're equipped with ballast tanks filled with inert gases, a crucial measure to prevent the accumulation and leakage of other gases during transit. After all, nobody wants any untimely gas-related incidents. That would be rather embarrassing, to say the least. Number 16. HM Algeciras. This massive vessel, proudly owned by a South Korean shipping company, has now clinched the coveted top spot in the ever-evolving ship size wars. It boasts the remarkable ability to stack an astounding number of standard containers, a staggering 24,000 to be precise. Measuring a whopping 400 meters in length, approximately 1,012 feet, and spanning 61 meters in width, this is undeniably a massive vessel. However, accommodating these behemoths in European ports can be quite the logistical challenge. Rotterdam, with its 20-meter deep harbor, stands out as one of the very few ports comfortable enough to welcome a vessel of such substantial length. It's a testament to the ever-advancing scale of maritime engineering and the relentless pursuit of pushing the boundaries of what's possible on the high seas. Number 15, Bat Illus, meet the Bat Illus class tanker, a colossal figure hailing from the 1970s. These mammoth tankers were purpose-built to undertake the Herculean task of ferrying immense quantities of oil. The very first of their kind was aptly christened Bat Il Us and proudly claimed the title of the world's third largest ship, a noteworthy achievement in the ever-evolving realm of maritime rankings. In this maritime world, fortunes can shift in an instant, propelling vessels up the hierarchy as larger rivals encounter unforeseen challenges. Contracts for these colossal vessels were inked in 1971. However, the tides of history took a dramatic turn during the 1973 Arab-Israeli War, giving rise to a sudden and severe oil supply shortage, aptly dubbed the Oil Shock. This unexpected twist cast shadows of doubt over the future of the tanker project, momentarily rocking the stability of these immense ships. Yet, the indefatigable oil industry refused to be deterred by this fleeting disruption in the supply chain. It swiftly re-established its networks, ensuring a continuous flow of fuel to power the ever-thirsty industries of the future, a narrative we are all too familiar with. The Bat Illus, constructed for the French sector of the Shell Oil Company, set sail in 1976. It embarked on a journey across the world's oceans, faithfully delivering crude oil to satiate the insatiable thirst of industries throughout the 70s and 80s. However, as all great ships must, its voyage eventually reached its conclusion. In 1983, it was gracefully decommissioned, and two years later it bid its final farewell as it was respectfully dismantled and scrapped. Thus, another chapter in the epic saga of maritime giants came to a close, leaving behind a legacy of colossal seafaring history. Number 14. Oasis of the Seas 
Now, whether you harbor a deep affinity for cruise ships or vehemently despise them, there's no denying the sheer enormity of this particular seafaring behemoth. This maritime titan, accompanied by its sister ship, the allure of the seas, stands as the uncontested goliath of the cruise ship world. Stretching across the seas like a floating metropolis, it boasts the capacity to accommodate a staggering 5,400 passengers and a dedicated crew of 2,100 souls. A colossal vessel with a towering presence, featuring an astonishing 16 decks, each meticulously wired with an electrical network that could span the entire width of the United States from coast to coast. It's a creation that seems to have sprung from the wildest dreams of visionary architects, or perhaps, one might jest, from the minds of those who may have indulged in a bit of offshore libation. The Oasis of the Seas offers an extravagant assortment of amenities. Among its opulent offerings are 20 restaurants, an impressive quintet of swimming pools, and even an ice rink. For those feeling lucky, a casino beckons, while weary travelers can rejuvenate at the onboard spa. The ship's entertainment repertoire includes not one, but two theaters, numerous bars, and a plethora of other diversions. Within its immense frame lies an onboard bakery where a staggering 4,000 bread rolls emerge from the ovens every hour, ensuring a constant supply of freshly baked goods. And if you can fathom this, the ship's daily thirst for 110,231 pounds of ice cubes. Just imagine the multitude of pina coladas that demand could fulfill. This is not just a cruise ship. It's an entire world unto itself, a marvel of the high seas that challenges the boundaries of what is possible on the water. Number 13, Maersk McKinney Mahler. We have another remarkable Danish vessel, courtesy of the shipping giant Maersk. This particular ship bears the distinguished name of Maersk McKinney Mahler, a tribute to the shipping magnate who served as the CEO of the company from 1965 until 1993. Mr. Moller, who passed away in 2012, left behind a remarkable legacy, and his eponymous vessel continues to traverse the world's oceans, carrying both cargo and his memory. The Maersk McKinney Moller is capable of accommodating a whopping 18,270 standard shipping containers on its substantial deck. It was the pioneer among a fleet of 20 ships, all sharing identical features, Keeping track of all these containers and bananas is indeed a conundrum. If anyone can calculate how many bananas one of these vessels could hold, please lend us your mathematical prowess. Upon its completion, this ship not only held the title of the largest, but also the most fuel-efficient among container ships in operation. Measuring a staggering 1,309 feet in length, it boasted a remarkable top speed of 23 knots, all while maintaining an exceptional level of fuel efficiency. Number 12. Emma Maersk Container Ship This monumental ship boasts the capacity to carry a mind-boggling 11,020-foot containers, a staggering 1,400 more containers than any other comparable vessel. However, the story of Emma Maersk almost took a different turn during the final stages of construction. A fire broke out on the ship, quickly spreading through the accommodation area and even reaching the exceptionally costly bridge. The blaze was visible from miles away, and it seemed like a dire situation. Yet, a highly skilled team of firefighters and crew members managed to heroically extinguish the flames, saving this mighty vessel from catastrophe. The Emma Maersk is owned by the Danish shipping giant AP Moller Maersk, it seems Denmark has a penchant for these colossal ships, perhaps a legacy of their Viking heritage. In fact, the National Bank of Denmark went so far as to issue a special coin featuring this ship in 2011. It goes to show that when it comes to maritime enthusiasm, well, whatever floats your boat takes on a whole new meaning. Number 11. Knock Nevis. Let's take a journey back to the era of retro maritime giants, where the Norwegian supertanker, the Knock Nevis, reigned as a contender for the title of the world's largest ship. This maritime behemoth stretched an impressive 1,504 feet in length and spanned 226 feet in width, surpassing even the height of the Empire State Building. This colossal size solidified her position as the largest ship on the planet, 
The NOC Nevis was a product of construction efforts spanning from 1979 to 1981. Imagine a vessel so immense that it could accommodate the equivalent of four soccer fields lined up end to end on its deck. Handling such a colossal ship required patience, as even the most basic maneuvers demanded an expanse of five and a half miles for something as routine as coming to a stop. Turning her was an even more monumental task, requiring a two-mile radius. The ship's history was nothing short of remarkable. In 1986, during the tumultuous Iran-Iraq War, the NOC Nevis found herself under fire from missiles, ultimately succumbing to the depths. One might have thought this would be her end, but fate had other plans. The wreck was purchased by a Norwegian ship owner, refloated, repaired, and eventually docked in Singapore. Over the years, she bore various improbable names, including the Happy Giant, and changed ownership multiple times. Her journey concluded in 2010 when she was ultimately dismantled for scrap. However, her anchor now stands as a silent memorial in front of the Maritime Museum in Hong Kong, a testament to the legacy of this colossal maritime marvel. Number 10. Q-Max Ships These colossal ships, all belonging to the Qatari oil shipping giant Qatar Gas, are nothing short of massive. The Q-Max ships, as they are known, are renowned for their impressive size and boast features aimed at enhancing safety and minimizing their impact on the marine environment. However, one can't help but note the irony in their efforts. These vessels are primarily liquefied natural gas LNG carriers, responsible for transporting nearly a million cubic feet of this valuable resource. With spacious interiors, they are giants both inside and out, measuring over 1,030 feet in length and spanning 180 feet in width. In an industry often criticized for its environmental impact, these ships are eager to tout their eco-friendly credentials. They claim that their unique construction, employing silicone, is specifically designed to safeguard the marine environment. Additionally, they assert that these vessels are equipped with state-of-the-art systems not only to enhance speed, but also to reduce their noxious emissions. While these claims may sound impressive, one can't help but ponder the irony of such proclamations, given the context of their industry. It's a case of ships making bold statements about their environmental commitment, leaving us to wonder whether they are indeed as environmentally friendly as they assert, or if they're simply full of ship. Number 9. U.S. Enterprise CVN 65 Aircraft Carrier No, we're not venturing into the realms of Star Trek here. Instead, we're diving into the history of a colossal aircraft carrier commissioned by the United States Navy in 1961. This remarkable vessel was hailed as the world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier at the time and stood as the mightiest warship in active service across the globe. Of course, being American, it had to be the biggest, right? They certainly aimed to outdo the competition. Affectionately nicknamed the Big E, this Titan was truly one of a kind. It was the sole ship of its class, measuring a staggering 1,123 feet in length. Its light deck covered a sprawling area of 4.47 acres, accompanied by a hangar bay spanning 5 acres. The ship featured four aircraft elevators and had the remarkable ability to both launch and recover aircraft simultaneously, an invaluable asset during combat operations. Between 1979 and 1982, the ship underwent a comprehensive refitting, ensuring its continued operational excellence. While initially designed for a service life of 25 years, meticulous maintenance and care allowed this colossal vessel to enjoy a long and distinguished career in the U.S. Navy. However, all good things must come to an end. In 2017, the Big E was finally decommissioned and embarked on the process of dismantling and disposal, a journey slated for completion by the year 2025. This marks the conclusion of an illustrious chapter in the history of naval power and the legacy of this monumental aircraft carrier. Number 8. CSCL Globe Behold the official heavyweight champion of container ships, the Hong Kong-registered China Shipping Container Lines Company's CSCL Globe. This maritime titan stretches an astounding 1,313 feet in length and boasts a staggering cargo capacity of 19,000 standard containers. 
Setting sail on its maiden voyage in late 2014, the CSCL Globe has consistently claimed the top spot in the Container Ship Size Awards ever since. To put its immense size in perspective, this colossal vessel carries the equivalent weight of 14,500 London buses and spans a length of 1,312 feet, as long as four soccer pitches. Yes, it's quite the behemoth. Given the sheer number of containers stacked onto these colossal ships, the occasional mishap is bound to happen, with a container or two meeting their fate in Davy Jones's locker. It becomes particularly intriguing when the contents of these capsized containers spill into the water, causing all sorts of commotion. Despite the millions of containers transported worldwide each year, only around 1,000s of them find themselves lost at sea, never to be seen again. It's truly a drop in the ocean amid the vast sea of maritime cargo transport. Number 7. The Burgess Stahl. Meet the colossal ship that once proudly held the prestigious titles of both the largest and longest iron ore carrier in the entire world. This maritime giant boasted an astonishing capacity of 365,000 deadweight tons, making it an immense behemoth dedicated to the relentless transport of iron ore. Its duty? A monotonous yet vitally important one. It tirelessly shuttled back and forth between Ponte de Madeira in Brazil and Rotterdam in the Netherlands, burdened with the weighty cargo of iron ore, a material that may seem mundane, but is undeniably indispensable. The ship embarked on this journey every five weeks, a testament to the unceasing demand for this essential resource. However, due to its enormous scale, this ship had limited options when it came to routes and ports. In all of Europe, only Rotterdam boasted the dimensions necessary to accommodate its prodigious girth when fully laden. Unloading this heavy cargo proved to be a formidable task, taking a full four out of five days to complete before the ship could set sail once more, perpetuating its ceaseless back-and-forth journey between Latin America and Northern Europe. Number 6. CMA CGM von Humboldt. Here we encounter another contender in the world of container ships, the CMA CGM von Humboldt. Now that name might sound a tad stern, almost like that of a strict headmaster, but it's actually a nod to a great explorer. Alexander von Humboldt, a renowned German explorer of the 18th and 19th centuries, embarked on extensive journeys across the Americas. In keeping with this tradition, the other ships in its planned fleet were also slated to bear the names of famous explorers. Built in 2013, this substantial vessel proudly sails under the flag of Malta. Its dimensions are nothing short of impressive, with a width of 53.6 meters and a length of 396 meters. While its standard shipping container capacity places it among the ranks of sizable vessels, it falls just short of claiming the title of the very largest, this ship can carry around 16,020 standard containers, a significant number to be sure, but still a hair's breadth away from the top spot. It's an impressive contender, but as they say, close but no cigar. Now, it's time for today's subscriber's pick. Prepare to have your minds blown by this jaw-dropping image. Look at this scene. We've got some brave souls in tiny boats, probably off on a quest to find the fabled Atlantis beneath the ice. But wait, let's not get sidetracked by their adventurous spirit. Focus on that colossal leviathan lurking in the background. It's so massive, it might have its very own atmosphere. First off, what's her name? And is it a cruise ship? A freight ships? Or maybe, just maybe, it's a secret warship? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Vale Brazil Meet the Vale Brazil, officially crowned as the largest iron ore carrier in the entire world. Quite the prestigious title one that would make any ship blush with delight at the honor. Launched in 2011, this ship wasted no time in shaking up the old order and setting the standard for all others to follow. With a jaw-dropping capacity of 400,000 tons crammed into its 1,187-foot-long frame, the Vale Brazil is a veritable giant of the seas. It's a true heavyweight, and this colossal vessel is not alone in its grandeur. It was merely the first of seven ships of the same class ordered by the shipping behemoth Vale from a shipyard in South Korea. The total bill for this fleet reached an astonishing $748 million, a testament to the value of that precious iron ore. But Vale didn't stop there. 
Not content with just seven massive record-breaking vessels, they went on to order an additional 12 ships, each boasting a capacity of 400,000 tons from a Chinese shipyard. This additional endeavor came with a price tag of a staggering $1.6 billion. The bills for these vessels must be as lengthy as the ships themselves, underlining the vast importance of iron ore in global commerce. Number 4. Pierre Guillaume. Introducing the Pierre Guillemot, a ship named in honor of the French politician and oil industry tycoon. This mammoth supertanker was a product of the 1970s, an era of massive tankers that seemed to be in vogue, much like flares and chest wigs. Stretching an impressive 1,360 feet in length and boasting a deadweight tonnage capacity of a staggering 555,000 tons, the Pierre Guillemot was no speed demon, ambling along at a leisurely 16 knots. Like many of her colossal counterparts, she was simply too immense to navigate through either the Suez or the Panama Canal, limiting her potential uses despite her imposing stature. However, this oceanic colossus proved to be quite the headache to operate, incurring exorbitant expenses due to her obscene size. Her service life was a mere six years, a short-lived existence for a vessel of her magnitude. The limited roles that a gigantic tanker could perform left her with few options, and once she proved unprofitable, the cardinal sin in the shipping world. Her fate was sealed, and she faced the inevitable end, meeting the chop. Number 3. Esso Atlantic The Esso Atlantic, along with her sister ship, the Esso Pacific, proudly served from 1977 to 2002. These vessels were in a league of their own, ranking among the select few that ever surpassed the half-million-ton mark in terms of dead weight. In fact, only seven ships have achieved this monumental feat. Measuring an impressive 1,333.89 feet in length and 102.43 feet in depth, the Esso Atlantic stood as a true giant of the seas. Her gross tonnage clocked in at 235,000 tons, but it was her colossal deadweight capacity of 508,620 tons that truly set her apart. When fully laden, she became a veritable leviathan, so heavy and immense that several of the world's waterways posed insurmountable obstacles. Navigating the English Channel? A no-go. Attempting to pass through the Panama Canal? Utterly impossible. And as for the Suez Canal, that was a complete non-starter. Recent events have shown us the chaos that can ensue when a poorly navigated ship obstructs this crucial passageway, wreaking havoc throughout the global supply chain and causing a host of problems worldwide. Number 2. Prelude Flelang Here is something quite unique. A floating liquefied natural gas facility, abbreviated as Flelang. It's not your typical ship, not by a long shot. In fact, this behemoth stretches a whopping 488 meters in length, making it approximately 88 meters longer than the largest conventional ship. That's an impressive feat in itself. But the bigness of this Falang doesn't stop there. It's supersized all over, boasting an expansive square footage and powered by 6,700 horsepower thrusters that are responsible for positioning the facility. The Prelude. Flang is, without a doubt, as colossal as a floating structure can get. In terms of production, it's expected to churn out a staggering 3.6 million metric tons of liquefied natural gas each year, a truly massive output. The Flan G features a dedicated storage facility where the liquefied natural gas is kept until a mammoth tanker arrives to collect it. To give you a sense of scale, the storage capacity on this FLNG is equivalent to the volume of liquid in 175 Olympic-sized swimming pools. When fully loaded, this colossal vessel displaces more than 600,000 tons, which is five times more than an aircraft carrier. It's a true titan of the seas, redefining the concept of maritime engineering and logistics. Number 1. Club Med 2 Allow me to introduce you to one of the largest passenger ships in the world the Club Med 2. This ship is nothing short of impressive, and it proudly claims the title of one of the two largest sailing ships in the world. Hailing from the shores of France, Club Med was founded in 1950 and still maintains robust European roots. As a result, a significant portion of the passengers on board this colossal cruise ship tends to be French-speaking. 
and the ship's overall ambiance caters to a European crowd. It exudes an air of elegant French sophistication, with a focus on an active lifestyle, offering an array of amenities for water sports, fitness, and wellness at its spa. Beyond its onboard luxuries, the Club Med 2 makes a striking appearance on the Mediterranean horizon. It boasts an expansive 26,000 square feet of space and flaunts five super-fancy masts that set it apart from the ordinary colossal cruise liners. The Club Med 2 relies on a unique combination of sail and diesel-electric power. Its five computer-controlled sails and four diesel generators power two electric motors, allowing it to gracefully navigate the Mediterranean with a distinctive style that's all its own. Hope you've enjoyed this captivating journey through colossal ships. Whether you're fascinated by massive cruise liners or pondering the massive carrying capacity of container ships, share your ship stories in the comments below. Stay tuned for more captivating stories and discoveries. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.